sometimes you may get rejected. You may get rejected from girls. You may get rejected from a work interview. You may get rejected from a business partner or a friend or a family member or someone may ignore you. But a lot of the times we tend to get the way we should handle it wrong. The way we should deal with it completely the opposite way that how it's supposed to be done. And we end up ruining our reputation. We end up ruining our connection with the other person, even if it's not supposed to be something that's like growing, but we could have maintained it to like a respectable way, right? Um, or we could have been more mature in different situations, right? But nowadays, a lot of the times, especially in the dating world, when we get rejected, when we like approach a girl and she doesn't want to give us our number or Instagram or she just ignores you, we completely like destroy what could have been or even like a small chance because of our attitude towards her rejection or like the rejection of like a business like company or someone that like, uh, you know, didn't want to work with us, right? And it could have been prevented. So in order to not burn bridges, in order to still maintain our reputation, we need to master the art of handling rejections. We need to learn how to deal with it, even if it's not the favorite outcome that we want, but we need to, I'm, I'm telling you, we need to learn how to deal with it. And if you don't, everyone's going to know like, yeah, this person is unmature. You have to learn how to deal with it. So I'm going to give you like a story of mine, right? There's been times that I went like talk to girls, right? Like I was with my friends and the girl just rejected me in front of my friends, right? And it doesn't mean that I'm a terrible person, I'm a bad person. I just lacked a certain skill. I could have improved it. My friends laughed at me, whatever, blah, 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 all this stuff. But it's nothing personal. The girl didn't want me to give her a number because, you know, she just didn't find what, she didn't like what I said. She didn't like maybe what she saw. And all these things plays a role, right? But instead of worrying about the result and saying like, oh my God, she, she hates me or she's a, you know, like a whore or she's a bitch or cussing at her, like there is no point. Like what do you gain out of that, right? There is no point of like blaming the other person or saying like, yeah, that person, I can do better, all this stuff. Just just very um, immature way of handling it, right? Or it can go with the same as your job. Like, like, oh yeah, this company is trash. I can easily find a better job or I can easily you know, get another company. Like I'm better than this. This company is worthless. Like that's the worst way to handle it. Never ever deal with rejection like that. Or like you know like those guys that they like talk to girls, they're like, oh like uh hey beautiful, are you doing like I can't get your number? She's like, no, and it's like, oh, I didn't want you either way. Like, bro, come on, be honest. Be honest. Like that's such an immature way of handling it. That's so stupid. Never ever be that guy. Never be that guy. So you may ask, okay, I know I should be more mature and I know I should be more smart with how I deal with rejections, but what's the best way? So from my experience, whenever I've been rejected, the best way is to, you know, acknowledge it and don't be disrespectful. Just say, okay, and move on. There is no point to chase the person constantly. There is no need to even try to impress the other person more. There is no need to disrespect the other person. There is no need to even like, like cost the other person. Like, bro, all these things are unnecessary that it could have been prevented. You being emotional and getting like super angry over this rejection is going to absolutely make the situation even worse. Okay. You need to understand that rejection at that moment doesn't mean rejection forever. So sometimes the best move is just to accept the situation as it is. And like, say, hey, this person doesn't like me. I'll just move on. And who knows, bro, later on, there's been times that people come back to your life because of the way you handled it. I'm not saying you should get, get back with that person. It's up to you. But I'm saying the way you handle those situations is going to make a huge difference, whether it's business-wise, relationship-wise, all those aspects, right? So you need to understand, like, be respectful. Do not get overly emotional and say, like, oh, my God, like, I'm better than you. You are who, do, who the hell are you? Like, just nonsense, okay? Be respectful, be professional, and all these like interactions. Because there's been times like a girl's like, oh, like uh, I don't want to come come out with you, or like I just said something stupid, or like I'm like, wait, oh my god, that's such a childish thing to say, or right? like and it's like I hang up a collar or something, you know what I mean? Like those small things, it just shows how unprofessional you are, right? You could have just been easily like, okay, it's fine, best of luck to you, 
you know, best of wishes, and that's it. Move on. You didn't have to like yell at the person. You didn't have to like be angry, or like a girl girl breaks up with you. Like you don't have to like start like being angry and say, "Why did you do this? Why did you do this? You don't love me." Like, just be like, "Okay, I understand. I respect your decision. I know this decision is gonna benefit you the most from your perspective. So that's all I want. I want you to be happy. Simple as that." If someone wants to, like, you know, not be with you, someone rejects you, a company rejects you, it's like, you know what? If that, if you think that's the best decision for you, best of wishes for you, you know, I'm fine. We'll move on. Respectfully, don't you don't need to be emotional. You don't have to be angry. Just be upfront and say, okay, thank you, and that's it. Leave the interaction on a positive note, because whenever you leave the interaction and end the conversation on a negative note, it's just leaves like a bad image, a bad reputation for you, right? And it's always in your benefit to keep the bridges open because you never know. You may meet that person later on and she can be like, I don't know, your, uh, you know, someone like it's going to help you. Maybe she can be your doctor and she's like, oh, wow, like I know this person, like, yeah, something's happened in the past, but like he was respectful, he was professional and I'm happy to meet you again. I'm going to help you, you know, because of the way you handle the situation or like some like, uh, you know, car sales guy knows you like you guys didn't like, you know, agree on a business term and then like, you know, it didn't really go through, but then you weren't emotional. You're like, it's okay. We can move on. And then later on you meet that person is like, wow, it's okay. Like I, I mess with you. I respect you. You know, like I'll help you out. Right. All because the way you handle that rejection, all the, all the way, all those things, all those small things makes a huge difference. So the way you deal with those things, the, you deal with the situations makes a huge difference. So my message is to be a professional with the way you handle rejections, be respectful, don't be emotional, and understand sometimes people don't see everything from your perspective and sometimes, and majority of times they believe that's the best decision for their favor and their benefit, so it's all right. Let them make the best decision, best, best decision for themselves. So. It is, what, it is what it is. No need to be angry, no need to be sad, no need to be emotional. Be a professional, okay? So that's my message for this video. This is how you handle rejections, and I hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to join our Discord community. It's a self-development Discord. We talk about fitness, nutrition, diet, how to be the best version of yourself. And we're going to do live calls very, very soon this week. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the group chat. Bye-bye.